Let me tell you how the MSI Spatium M480 has a cold heart and how it doesn't give a flying F to all the warmth you might want it to feel. What? Hey everyone, Mukul here. And this is a mini story of how cool the MSI Spatium M480 thinks it is. The box looks nice and has the specs clearly mentioned on it. To be honest, I like their honesty mentioned right in front of the box claiming the read speeds are up to 7000 MB per second. So, GG MSI, GG. The box lid has a magnetic hinge, so clearly MSI decided to invest in premium packaging here. And of course, we are the ones in the end bearing the cost anyhow. Well, inside the box, there's a heat sink up top, the drive in the middle and the M.2 tray at the bottom. There is no screw or even a tiny screw driver inside the box. So if you have lost the one which came with your motherboard, then <laughs> now the best. Well, they are definitely being really cute and sweet with the first step really as they are thank you to us for buying this drive. The cute cartoony looking manual will definitely make it easier for your kids to install the drive. So yeah, you are sorted at least there. To be honest, I simply love the heatsink design at first glance. The way they have cut the fence in a diagonal manner is also very nice. I kind of appreciate how MSI uses this uh, gold or bronze material finish on it so beautifully. It doesn't look tacky and has a subtle dull finish on it. I mean, I truly appreciate the non-sparkly materials on the heatsink. But I also kind of get that people rarely see their M.2 drives after installation uh, unless it has RGB bling on it, which this drive doesn't have as it clearly prioritized to work on the thermals instead of adding more heat via those tiny LEDs on the drive. The controller on it is by Fizon and the NAND flash is Micron's 96 layer TLC which has a decent reputation. The DRAM on the drive is by SK Hynix and yes, I won't go into more technicalities than this because even I won't be sure of what I'm saying. So I'll stop myself right there. The paper spec performance of the 1TB storage drive is quite close to the 2TB variant, uh, which I have here. But the 500GB variant, which isn't available in many countries, has a drastically lower performance. So don't let these numbers or the performance charts uh, give you an impression that the other two lower tier storage will perform the same too as this 2TB variant I received. The endurance of the 1TB drive is 700TBW and 2TB drive is a crazy 1400TBW. So if you are a data cruncher of any sort, well, don't hesitate to go with the 2TB variant at least. For these shots, I had removed the stickers of the drive, but you should definitely defer yourself from doing so as that might void the drive's warranty, which is five long years. And really, is there anyone who wouldn't love the five long years of warranty? But for the test results, I'm going to share ahead. I had put these stickers back on as most of you anyway won't dare to touch it or remove it. The thermal pad is covering the whole part on the bracket uh, where the drive goes in and similar stuff is seen under the heatsink too. The amount of thermal pad is no less and if all of this can't keep a drive cool then really nothing would. Here are some ATO and ASSSD and Crystal Disk Info results on your screen. You can notice that the claimed speeds do suffer when these tests are performed with smaller files as compared to larger files uh, datasets, which to be honest is a trade for many consumer M.2 drives, so can't really nitpick or pinpoint MSI here specifically. Apart from these typical benchmarks, I generally do quick file transfer tests when I review SSDs because most of the SSDs come quite close to each other when it comes to launching a variety of applications or games. So when I moved a bunch of large files from Samsung Evo 970 Plus to MSI Spatium M480, the file transfer speed was consistent between 1.4 to 1.5 GB per second. And as expected, going the same route uh, with a variety of smaller files, the speeds weren't that impressive, which to be honest is the case with many of the drives too. When I moved a bunch of large files from the Spatium to Evo 970 Plus, the transfer speeds always stayed above 1 GB per second to 1.5 GB per second with peak transfer speeds to up to 1.7 GB per second. But going the same route with the smaller files gave the same sad transfer speed performance, which is expected to be honest. Well, Tom's hardware has compared it with many other drives too and the Spatium M40 does manage to perform among the highest tier drives like the Samsung 980 Pro. And when it comes to the thermals, both Crystal Disk Info and HW Info reported almost the same temperatures when the drive was test tested with these benchmarks. And in all of these tests, the temperatures didn't cross 44 to 48 degrees Celsius when the ambient temperature was around 28 degrees Celsius, which to be honest is quite impressive for a Gen 4 drive to maintain irrespective of the fact that yeah, it has a chunky heatsink installed over it, which thankfully came with it. 
But I also ran the drive briefly without the heat sink over it and the same transfer load test and I did notice the temperature rise to 65 to 67 degrees Celsius which is still far better than how the Samsung Evo 970 Plus performs with a heat sink over it which came with my motherboard and seeing the M48 perform cooler than it without a heat sink over it was definitely impressive. And for the noise test, yeah I'm kidding. At the time of me making this video, the M481 TB cost 16,500 rupees in India and 155 US dollars in the US. But if you want the same drive with this premium looking heatsink over it, well, that will cost you a whopping $90 more on the 1TB variant and $110 more on the 2TB variant. And as I don't have the correct Indian pricing of the 2TB variants and the 1TB heatsink variant right now, take the Indian prices with a grain of salt. So clearly, the PCIe Gen 4 premium pricing and the quite expensive heatsink, well, all of that inflates the cost of Spadium M480 too much that it kind of pains my heart. Except for the 1TB non-heatsink variant, which costs just fine for the performance the drive gives. But if you own a motherboard which only has one M.2 PCI Gen 4 slot left on it and you need more storage and you can afford to hop on the PCI 4.0 premium train, then I bet you won't mind shelling uh, big bucks on the 2TB variant too. So yeah, it's a really nice looking drive which holds up to MSI's claim of what it can do. So I really have nothing negative to say about it. I just wish the 2TB variants from all the brands come at a fair multiplication price but seeing how everything is scarce in terms of uh, production uh, that seems like a distant story. I mean if things were better then I could have been more optimistic but I am not so yeah. I will post the Amazon India and US links in the description below. You can buy from there if you want to support the channel. You can also hop onto our Discord server for more chit chats on relevant content. Stay safe humans and stay cool like the M480. That's all for today. Mewbot out. That's lame.